fun to show them that I have even versatility with for my size. You know, can put the ball on the floor, can dribble, pass, you know, shoot, um, and, and post up as well. You know, I know over the years that uh, you know, even though they have a new staff coming in, I know they you know like to get up and down. You know, with Steve and even uh, even Shaq on the team, you know, get down a little bit and, and Amari and push the ball and rebound. So you know, I think I can you know help them out and and. Uh, you know, make some outside shots as well on a consistent basis. It seems like your name is shooting up the rankings. A lot of people, NBA scouts, are really finding out what your game is all about, having uh, played at Ryder. Talk about what it was like to, to spend the four years there and maybe opening up some new eyes now. Well, it's about time now, this thing. But, uh, no, nah, I mean, it's good. Uh, you know, I, I think just throughout my career, you know, even as a young kid, I've always had to prove myself. Um, you know, I went to you know, kind of a you know a small school in in Jersey, and then I went to small school at Ryder, which is in Jersey, um, and then you know pretty much every article you see is a late bloomer, and then people are shocked. You know, if you talk to some people in the area, they'll be like, you know, I always seen it in them and stuff like that. But you know, and you also have guys that are jumping on the bandwagon as well. But um, that actually gives me motivation, of, you know, on having to prove myself. Uh, you know. Uh, you know, everyone tries to say he went to a small school. What can he do against a bigger talent? But you know, if you guys check the tapes that I've done that to you know the bigger schools as well. So you know, if I if I play, uh, you know, that's a pros and cons of going to a small school. You know, um, you know, you, you you know the bigger schools get to go to the tournament more often. You know, I never got to you know uh, you know have that taste in my mouth. But you know, I've had a great experience. Uh, you know, my school is kind of on the map right now. Before. You know, a lot of people are saying, Ryder, who and where is that? And, and a lot of guys know where that is now. So it's good to know that I was a big part of that. Well, one thing that's obvious from watching you work out is you've got a tremendous motor, meaning you've got a lot of energy, passion, and desire out there, even in the workout. I mean, you really uh, laid it out there on the court. Talk about what burns inside of you. Just, you know, just the, the hunger of it. Um, you know, if you talk to a lot of people around me, you know, that as a kid, you know, this has always been a dream of mine to, you know, hear my name called on, on, you know, this Thursday coming up. And for that to happen, you know, a dream will come, you know, it's going to become more of a reality. So just to know that all the hard work I put in, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, you're going in these workouts and then that's it. But I had to prepare for these workouts. I had to be able to get these amount of workouts and stuff like that. So that's a lot of hard work and dedication. And, you know, just to prove that the people has been good. I'm, gl I'm glad a lot of people are, you know, starting to look more into me and, and that, you know, my name's trying to, you know, rise into the cracks of the draft. So, you know, hopefully it's going to be a good day. And you have to be in great condition, too, because these are some strenuous workouts. What are you going to do Thursday, draft day? Where are you going to be? How are you going to watch it? And uh, how stressful do you predict that to be? Um, I, I don't know how stressful it's going to be until probably the day of. Um, you know, I hear a lot of stories, but, you know, I'm more anxious right now. Um, you know, this is my, like, 14th or 15th workout, you know. So it's been, it's been a, you know, a grind, uh, you know, just the experience of, I talked to a lot of veterans and they say how, um, you know, just if you can experience this, then it should help you out the process of, the, you know, your rookie season. But, you know, going back to with that day, I'm not sure, you know, if I'm going to get invited to New York, I, I think that uh, New York or not, I'm not sure if, you know, the day, I think it's still they come out with a list on Monday. So we'll see what happens. And then when I see if I'm on there or not, then I'll know where I'll be at. describe the last uh, two, three weeks and kind of the whirlwind of workouts uh, for you. What has this been like and how physically taxing is it? Um, you know, it's a blessing. God's blessed me with these opportunities. I'm just making the best of it. I'm playing hard every workout. I'm playing very well. I'm very confident after each workout. And, uh, you know, this is fun. This is life. I love, I love this life. I'm traveling, playing basketball. So I'm 100%. My body's fresh, so I'm still going at it. As a seven-footer, I uh, kind of give Suns fans an idea of what skills uh, you bring to the basketball court. You've got a nice outside touch, and I mean a pretty good handle, too, for a seven-footer. You like to handle the basketball a little bit, it looks like. Yes, sir. I like to have the in-and-out play. Um, let's say I've got a smaller guy. I want to post him up. i got a bigger guy. I'm going to take him out of the way and go by him. So, I mean, I like to cause mismatch problems, and I feel like I fit well in the Phoenix Suns system. I get up and down the court, uh, screen, pick and roll, and... Uh, you know, I'm just thankful to have a workout in sense. Tell us about yourself. One year at Ohio State and uh, grew up in Canton, Ohio, which is uh, the home of the NFL Hall of Fame. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my, my parents are from Greece, but um, I'm 100% Greek, but I was born in Canton, Ohio. I played high school ball there. I played college ball in Ohio as well. So it was a wonderful opportunity, and I was thankful I had a scholarship at Ohio State University.
What do you uh, predict for Thursday? And tell me where you're going to be and how you're going to watch this draft process unfold. Um, you know, I'm just thankful for this opportunity, like I said before. Um, I'm not predicting anything. I'm just working hard in every workout, and uh, that's all I can do. No regrets. Where are you going to be, though? Where are you going to watch it? Are you going to you know, be glued to the TV, or some people just want to get away and uh, go into a gym and have somebody call them? Um, I don't know yet. Uh, I'm probably just going to be back home, just watch it, and then just pray for the best. This is a great opportunity for me, you know, just to uh, travel all around and, you know, get the get the opportunity to be seen by all these teams and coaches and stuff. And uh, you know, it's just really fun. Uh, I really wanted to. This is what I really wanted uh, to, uh, you know, come and try for the Suns because I really like the Suns and of course I like uh, I love watching Steve Nash and stuff. And uh, but so so this is really cool. You're also pretty familiar with the Phoenix area. I mean, having gone to Washington State, you've come out here to play ASU. Uh, talk about your career at Washington State and how that prepared you for this opportunity. I think it prepared me well. You know, Coach Tony is a great coach. You know, I think he developed my game, you know, pretty well all throughout the years while playing under him. And, uh, you know, we came out here, we have to play in you know, Arizona State. Then we go up the road to Arizona and stuff. So, I mean, I'm pretty familiar with this area. And plus, I was here about a couple of weeks ago, maybe, to do a photo shoot with a couple of my teammates. So, not a photo, like a commercial. So, uh, you know, it's real cool. It's, uh, it's definitely really hot out here, but that, well, that's nice. But it makes you miss Honolulu, which isn't exactly the biggest pipeline to the NBA as far as basketball talent. How did you become uh, such a, a, you know, a qualified prospect, and how did you hone your skills uh, growing up in Honolulu? Oh, I don't know. I just think uh, I just think I, f I started uh, focusing on one sport at a at a young age, and I think I just you know grew into it and uh, just you know loved it so much. That's all I basically did. And you know I am fortunate to have a dad you know who uh who pushed me the right way and you know took the time to work out with me and make me go run and make me go shoot you know on outdoor courts and everything so uh, you know other than that you know it's pretty much just you know blessed to have you know this uh you know opportunity to do all this stuff but uh yeah I know most people from Hawaii they they like either you know, play football or baseball and stuff, but I went the opposite way, but yeah. Or comfortable with a surfboard, are you? Yeah, oh, no, I wouldn't say comfortable, but I'm, you know, I, I surf from once in a while, from time to time, but I wouldn't say I'm really good at it. It's, re it's real tiring, though. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks again. Yep. Yeah, appreciate that. Make sure you shower. Sun's on three. Let's, Let's go. go. Bring it in. Sun's on three. One, two, three, Sun's. Sun's